Hi guys! Patrick's Garage. We can use this fancy tool to test and adjust ignition system on car, truck, tractor and even marine gasoline engines. We can use chalk or white dab of paint to clearly mark the zero in the pulley with race numbers. Block the wheels to prevent movement of vessel. These are bus anti-roll bags. My father did them himself for me. Manual transmission must be on natural. Automatic transmission on parking. I haven't worked as a minibus driver for a long time, but these roll stoppers are very useful. All wires need to be hooked up correctly. Side for over to plug. Green clamp for minus, was from breaker, power leads are attached to the battery terminals, and of course we remember that during all measurements and adjustings the engine must be at normal operating temperature. And before measurements run the engine at RPM given in the specifications. Double check indicator tests for incorrect hook up or fall to bulb. Vacuum hoses in most cases have to be disconnected and plugged. We can use special or self-made uh, small rubber plugs for hoses. This hose to the vacuum governor must be disconnected and plugged. And we are ready for measurements. Aim the stroboscope at the mark on the timing gears casing. Yes, right there. And you see mark on the timing gears casing. I personally feel that 13 or 14 degrees at the idle is enough, just for me. Shift the stroboscope at the tachometer mode. It shows 1500s. And we have data to measure this speed. And so you can read speed of engine. Increase or reduce speed if it needs. Shift stroboscope to advanced mode. Turn advanced knob for adjusting. So that the mark on the timing gear casing should align with the zero on pulley. Main important thing. So take a patience. So zero on the pulley should be absolutely aligned with mark on the timing gear casing. Adjust it by knob and read measurements on scale. On the scale advance, arrow shows you which advance now. Compare readings with specifications. And see, correct it or not. And, but always remember, in olden day was a very different guess. Now not what it used to be. If it's not correct, adjustment is required. Or maybe you tuned ignition by air. In any case, it would be interesting for you to measure you can then adjust by degrees. To disable advance on turning the advance knob. Only after that loosen the distributor mounting nut. On our engine the hold down nut for the distributor is difficult to reach and turn with wrench and circuits. A custom nut like this can be used. You see it's more longer than original nut. This length of nut more convenient for adjusting ignition. And turn it very slowly. Distributor rotor arm rotates with anti-clockwise direction. After that tighten the nut and recheck the timing. Of course you can try driving around. Feel accelerates car correctly or not.
I've completely forgotten. Before advanced adjusting, check the dwell angle. Adjustment data for this particular distributor Bosch. And if it's too high, the contact breaker gap is too small. Gap approximately 0 0.4, 0 0.5 millimeters. To correct that well, we need slight screwdriver and it will be better to use filler gauge. But if it's too low, the gap is too wide. And very interesting sketch, how increases the angle with increasing speed of engine. And if you may be curious, you can watch my video about repairing this distributor, this particular distributor with this number. This distributor was used only with B20 late models. Earlier models was with a little different distributor. Let's look at the contacts. Only Bosch original contacts. The same was in earlier models. Now you see data for earlier models. The same gap for earlier and late distributors. If they come sworn unevenly, it can be cause of misfiring. And if it's so, you can install electronic ignition. Our all simple distributor must be lubricated. You see, lubricating felt. Some drops of oil from dipstick is enough. I use engine oil here. Close lubricator, not for good. Breaker cam, smear with light layer of grease. Check for scratches. If it's so old and wear, we can reduce the uh, gap between contacts. Put to worn on even length. Now we see mark not bouncing. We align it to the zero see readings on the scale at the same time. You see pictures, clearly see about advance. And vacuum force from the vacuum governor which goes to the intake manifold will be better to plug with something than bending it. And degree on the pulley important when we use simple ignition light. Then we are guided by the scale on the pulley. In our case, we guide on the scale which on the our stroboscope. This stroboscope 25 years old, not available today of course, but in our day available stroboscopes with digital screens, maybe simple to reading. And uh, before starting the engine, make sure that wires routed away from the movable parts of the engine wrote them away from the fan. Only after that start the engine. So be very careful with moving engine components. Still fan can be very dangerous. Here readings on the scale we can see if our tool very simple mark on the timing use casing should be aligned with specified point on the pulling. Very simple tool that maybe will last in the rest of our car life. It's got plenty enough functions to just classic ignition system with contact breaker. It's old magazine, of course not of all this tool available today. And we see our timing analyzer, xenon lamp replaceable and wires not available now. I bought this analyzer a long time ago. And as we can see, it works perfectly fine. As I said, I bought it a few years ago. Are they worth buying? Are they not worth buying? Please let me know in the comments what you think about it. And if you're toning something, maybe you want a little add degrees of advance. I'm not toning anything. I'm not need more advance. So, 13 or 14 degrees at the idle for me is enough. Not so much increase and not so much reduce the advance. Because we can easily damage our engine. And if you have maybe a mechanic you trust, get it done. Without experience, mechanics aren't very good for this job. And now they would care anybody, because they need workhorse. And now in our day workshops, 
They had people that knew nothing about contact break ignition system. And now, please make sure you're subscribed and thanks for watching.